Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University, looking at Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligence to design reading activities. Like all things in education, keep it simple. First of all, intelligence is not a one-dimensional entity that exists on a straight line continuum. People have more of it or less of it. Nay, 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 there is no single entity that we call intelligence. Instead, people are intelligent in different ways. Gardner defines intelligence as the ability to solve problems or create products which are of value within a cultural setting. Intelligence is problem solving. As the problem differs, so are the cognitive strategies necessary to solve that problem. So intelligence does not exist on a one-dimensional plane. He identifies eight different types of intelligence. We're going to look at each of them, and I'm going to identify the action words. Linguistic intelligence, the ability to use words. And here are all action words. And when you think about designing pre- and post-reading activities, use these action words. Can I get students speaking, writing, reading, or creating word pictures? Poetry is a marvelous activity to use with linguistic intelligence. Logical mathematical intelligence. All right, deducing, if then logic, when then, mathematics, inductive reasoning, creating groups and seeing patterns. These are all types of thinking that use logical mathematical intelligence. Spatial intelligence, the ability to perceive the visual spatial world, draw, diagram, shape, design. Post-reading activities, create them using those words. Bodily kinesthetic, using one's body, Move, dance, create shapes, mind as a post-reading activity. Yes, think outside the box. Musical intelligence, the ability to recognize pitch, rhythm, timber, sing, play, use rhythms, create a song, identify a song, hum, recognize, use music, find background music. All action words to create activities and assignments. Interpersonal intelligence. People intelligence, uh, appropriately respond to moods and temperaments, work with a partner, work in small groups, share, talk, cooperative learning, survey, interview. These are all activities based on interpersonal intelligence. Intra, the ability to go within, all right? Make a personal connection, imagine, intuitive, associate emotions or experience with something. Naturalistic intelligence, this one is a little tougher, but going outside the classroom using natural things. And again, this one is a little tougher to do. So what? There are many ways to be smart. We can design activities and experiences using these eight ways of knowing or thinking. It's a way to differentiate the curriculum, create tiered instruction so we have easier and more complicated assignments. Know that there are a variety of ways to demonstrate learning, not simply a standardized test or a cockamamie comprehension worksheet. You can stop the video and here are all different ways to demonstrate learning. All of these can be used as post-reading activities. Think outside the stinking box. We can create multi-modal instruction, many modalities, not simply reading and burping things up. And again, here are the action words. And pick. you shouldn't have using each one of these in one assignment, but for different assignments, try to use different types of thinking and knowing. Here are the action words. Here are the action words again. Gardner's theory of multiple intelligence, creating post-reading activities and assignments.